So I'm Graham Bird. I'm responsible for business and marketing in Giga Macro from Napa, California. And the project that we have here today is called the Terabyte, B-I-T-E, uh, because we're making the world's first terapixel, that's a trillion pixel macro image. And the subject is food. So hence the play on words between a terabyte and a terabyte with the eye. And what we're using here is three standard production Magnify 2 machines, one after the other. We have to take 319, I beg your pardon, 619,382 photographs in three and a half days. So we're doing the capture here and we'll do all the post-processing after SIGGRAPH. Uh, Gene Cooper has long wanted to do uh, highly detailed food photography. And so we've had a number of conversations about, well, should we do this, should we do that? We always come back to food. Uh, and it turns out that it works really well for SIGGRAPH because uh, not only do we want to do something here, but we want to involve people. And so everything that you see here has been done by the student volunteers, the attendees and the conference uh, folks in order to produce all the artwork that we're now photographing. And we have 83 feet of food going through this system. We're using our product in ways that we never have done before. Uh, we're certainly going to, we think, going to test some of the software systems that we have, uh, primarily by the volume of data that we're putting through. A trillion pixels is a lot of data. The, the big question we've had, apart from, is it pizza? Uh, the second biggest question we've had is, so what do they do in the day job? What do we use these things for in the field? Um, and what we have here is a general purpose machine. Uh, I like to say to people, it's a little bit like the old days when we got spreadsheets and we said, oh, this is marvelous. Now what are we going to use it for? So we talk in specifics about how some of our customers are using it. So one of the really interesting ones that we're waiting for a big announcement on is Royal Historic Scotland in Scotland have one of our machines um, and they have been imaging Elizabeth I's prayer books that she made when she was Princess Elizabeth, about 15 years old, as a Christmas gift for her father Henry VIII. And the reason they're using it is it's embroidery and tapestry, and so it has a lot of depth in it. And our system does really well when you need both high resolution and deep focus. The two elements, the big one is the, the terabyte uh, image, but we're also talking about some of the work that we're starting to move into with 3D. Um, 3D, as I guess everybody here knows, is really, really hot. Um, and this particular system, the Magnify 2, that's the shipping production system, doesn't do full 3D. It does what's called a height map or 2.5D. So I think Gene has somewhere around here an image of Lincoln's nose that we photographed from a US penny. And then we send the information from the height information out to a milling machine or a 3D printer and it prints up in very high resolution and much larger than a, a penny in real life, uh, either the whole or a part of that. So we're looking a lot at what's happening with 3D and 2.5D and next year maybe we'll have an even bigger project on that.